Is this the world I really want to see? So we're on lesson 22 today. Woo! Things gotta get in the real. Uh, what I see is a form of vengeance. Just kidding, nothing's real. Ha! <laughs> all right, yeah, that's, that's all I got. Uh, I just really feel a collective ugh today. It's kind of a dreary day. My daughter's just left, like, you know, like, everyone's kind of like, uh, and sad and dealing with their issues and dealing with their stresses. And I'm like, really like aware of everyone's heaviness and illusions today. And it's like the lesson today, if I could just get everybody to follow along and say with me, I see only the perishable. I see only the perishable. I see nothing that will last. So your problems, they won't last. The ceiling, it ain't gonna last. Like whatever, your turkey spur necklace, probably not gonna last. What I see is not real. What I see is a form of vengeance. So today's lesson's all about attack thoughts. When we hold grievances, annoyances, pissed offness, anger, resentment, what have you, those are all attack thoughts. And as I have them in my mind, I basically project them outward. I might think it's the world attacking me. I might think I'm the one, I'm in defense. But in the text of A Course in Miracles, if you read the book, it will tell you like their defense is attack. You know, it's like, it's the same energy. So anyways, that is lesson 22. It's gonna talk about the vicious circle that we're gonna keep repeating until we're willing. I'm like, until what, Said Until you're willing to change, Said. Until you're willing to change. Um, until you're really, really, really hungry for peace of mind. Who? until you're ready to look at the world and, you know, say, I see only the perishable and whatever else we have to say. And then at the end we say, is this the world I really want to see? <laughs> and the Course in Miracles is so sassy. It says, the answer is surely obvious. And then of course, there is gonna be a few people that say, don't call me Shirley. All right, you want the notes? You got it. Here's the notes. So Tina Jesus, number 22. Uh, Jesus be starting some shit, y'all. <laughs> He's straight up said, uh, this is going to be a challenging lesson for you if you've been taught that God created this world. And literally all of my Christian friends just fell over dead at the thought that God did not create this world. God did not create this world of death. And really to me that does kind of like make sense because if God is eternal and perfect, uh, I'm pretty sure his creations are gonna be like himself so God will only create eternally perfect things. So yeah, this reality that we see here, this is not the real world. This is not God's world. God did not create this world of death. This is the ego's playground. Hey, I'm just telling you what Jesus said, okay? Don't get sassy with me. Get sassy with Jesus. <laughs> this is the ego's playground. So yeah, there's the projection from the collective consciousness, but then also our own personal projection. So we really need to get it in our heads that we are creating our personal world. So if we are having attack thoughts, if we are having vengeance thoughts, well then that's gonna play out in the playground. Just basically, whether, if you, whether you're challenged or not by Jesus saying that God did not create this world of death. Because um, most people believe that God created this world. But Jesus said he didn't. So, I mean, I'm just passing it along. Now, the other thing that Jesus said is he is going to pivot you. So, if you feel like these lessons are slow and you don't understand, well, we got to hang out for a whole year together and it, your ego's like being like, these are dumb, do five at a time. Don't, don't do more than one a day. It could overwhelm you. And the reason they're slow for a reason to give you time to pivot you comfortably away from fear and separation and head towards love. So everything is laid out the way it's supposed to. 
it works. It worked on me the first time I did it. This second time, holy F, Batman, <laughs> holy balls. It's like really working. Um, and so just have a little faith and a little patience and a, a tiny bit of trust. If you need to hear that message, there you go. The other thing that Jesus said, he did say, he, he did challenge everybody again to share his video. <laughs> I don't care if you share mine or not, but I do agree with him by spreading love and light, love and light. So, I mean, I mean, if you think you do know somebody who would appreciate hanging out with me, sure, send them my way or, you know, just put it, put me out there, pimp me out. That's fine. But if there's other ways that resonate better with you to spread love and light, just like offering kindness in the world, do that. All right. Pathways of Light is a doozy. Um, this outside world is a projection of my mind and belief and separation. So it really just nicely spins off of what Jesus said, covers that we're making a world of conflict. So yeah, we wanna, we wanna heal this. So we gotta be very aware of our conflicts going on in our head. There is no annoyance too small. There's no slight grievances. Like, it's not that you cannot measure, it's not like big deal, little deal. It's all a deal. So even if I'm having a slight annoyance, I better be aware of it because it could just be masking or covering up some serious fucking fury. So I want to deal with everything. Annoyance, anger, fear, attack thoughts, the whole bit. Because... I, if I'm not aware of it, then I'm not going to be able to understand what I'm doing and see it and observe it and then change it. I don't want to make a world of conflict anymore. So I'm going to ask Holy Spirit for help. And HS is going to help me walk out of this delusional world. And Holy Spirit will help you too walk out of this delusional world. So since we're hanging out anyways... Let's do it together. Holy Spirit, we ask you now, please help us walk out of this delusional world. For the love of God. <laughs> yeah, for the love of, love of, for the love of, love of, love of, love of, love of, love of God. Got stuck on the love of, love of, Sadie, it's love of. <laughs> for the love of. God's a lover. All right, should I edit this part out? Good Lord. Um, yeah, please help us. Like, um, like my delusional world isn't even as delusional as some other people's worlds. Okay, like I'm not judging, I'm just observing. Um, and I'm like, geez, I don't know how people are handling it because I don't wanna live in a delusional world at all. And like, I'm like witnessing what they're going through. And I'm like, holy, oh my gosh. Like, yeah, we need to hand in hand with the Holy Spirit and let him help us walk out of this delusional world full of illusions, full of separation, full of fear, full of death, full of vengeance. So what I see is a form of vengeance. So we need to really watch ourselves because even when I'm in like my most peaceful place, if I hear like the right song or think of a maybe a certain scenario or person, pow, pow, like all of a sudden I'm like whooping ass in my daydream. I'm like, oh my gosh, like we've been working on peace, Sadie. Why are you doing this? Well, because we have been so freaking programmed and practiced to be violent just vengeance just comes so easy to us, doesn't it? <laughs> so anyways, be super aware of what's going on. Let's listen to the Pathways of Light. Um, and it is long, but it's good. So stay, and then I'll give you a cookie. Pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 22 Insights. What I see is a form of vengeance. It is very helpful when Jesus reveals the unconscious motivation for making up this world of separation, of separate bodies with separate minds. In this lesson, Jesus is helping me understand that this whole world as I see as outside me is really a projection of the conflict that is coming from my mind. 
Jesus is helping me understand that this world I think of as outside me is really a projection of my belief in separation. This projection shows up as a world of conflict that appears to be outside my mind. Because I feel guilt for this desire for individuality, I do not want to acknowledge this wish to see separation and push these thoughts of conflict down into the unconscious realms. Now, because I want to heal my mind, I need to have what is really happening at unconscious levels brought to my attention. This lesson helps me understand why I see so much conflict in the world. The conflict that I see out in the world is simply a reflection of the conflict that is in my mind. This helps me understand why I experience fear. There are times when it seems to go away, but it will resurface until I let go of the cause. So I do need to know and understand fully the depth of attack thoughts that reside in the unconscious layers of my mind. I want to go with the Holy Spirit and look at it very directly and see this ego thought system for what it is. The Holy Spirit will show me that it is really not what I want. I really do not want to continue seeing separation. I want to recognize lack of love for what it is and let it go. I want to see beyond the veil of separate bodies with separate minds to what is real. What is truly real is changeless. Everything in this world of time and space is an is in a constant state of change and therefore I am learning it is not real. It seems difficult at times to look at this but I have so much help and this eternal help goes with me and is there to hold my hand and lead me out of these delusions of separation as I am ready. In today's lesson I am learning that what I see is a form of vengeance. I am willing to let the Holy Spirit walk me through the unconscious motivations I have been attached to. I am willing to hand them over. I am willing to practice letting my mind be healed today. Sometimes I think of this world as a childish temper tantrum in which we are saying to our father, you won't give me the world of specialness I want and so I will make my own. (laughs) God will not stop us from making an illusionary, insane world because he gave us all power. We can use this power to create or miscreate. If he were to interfere with our miscreation, then we would no longer be his equal as he created us. We would become of a lesser order. This he cannot do because he created us like himself. But he has provided us with the means to escape from the insane world we appear to have made. It is his voice, our inner teacher, who is ever-present to show us what we really want if we will but ask. Eventually, the pain of living in the world we appear to have made becomes so great that we are willing to look for a better way. Our previously closed minds open a door, a window, a crack in the armor to let love in, to let God's answer in, and we get a taste that there is another way to be, a way that is far happier, far more peaceful, and more filled with love than anything we have experienced in this world. That taste motivates our willingness to seek for more and to recognize that what we have made is not what we want in truth. 
this lesson is a step in helping us to recognize that we don't really want the world we have made. There must be a better way, a happier way, a more loving way, a peaceful way. Today, I am willing to stop the temper tantrum and open the door wider to the peace of God. As I begin to meditate on today's lesson, I say, I place my mind under your guidance, Jesus. Soon afterward, the tightness around my heart begins to dissolve. I have a memory of holding my tiny infant daughter in my arms. I remember her tiny hand holding my finger. I remember looking into her eyes as I fed her. I see the luminescence of love in her eyes. As I gaze into her eyes and speak to her gently and softly and sing to her, I am filled with a sense of wonder, awe, love, and total oneness. There is no separation between us. This memory reminds me that love is not an intellectual exercise. It is the lifting of the veil, the lifting of the illusion of separation between what appears to be two beings. This experience and experiences like this are the flip of the switch that take me from seeing the world as a form of vengeance into the experience of extending love through the world. These experiences open my heart and remind me of the truth of who I am. This is my healing. This is my memory of the extension of love that my father gave to me and that I am to give others as I walk in the dream. It is helpful not be to be afraid when we look at the vengeance in ourselves and others. We can see it everywhere, on the TV news, a friend's gossiping, the conditioning that we have grown up with, road rage, and all the divorces. When we see these things in ourselves, we only have to know that they are not what we really are. It is so important for us to not feel guilty, for as Jesus said, We know not what we do. When we become aware, we easily turn to spirit and ask to see things differently. He shows us the love that we have inside. He shows us the joy and peace we have inside. And he reminds us that we are truly worthy and lovable. And all is truly well. Yesterday, I could not believe how many people and incidents in my life made me angry. Especially when I stopped pretending that twinges of annoyance didn't count as anger. Today, it is easy for me to see how I have peopled my world with all that anger No wonder the world seems so scary. After reading the lesson, I saw this dynamic several times. I would feel anger towards someone or something and stop myself long enough to realize I was defending against my own projected illusions. I don't think this means I'm going to stop now, but it is a small step in that direction. And I don't think I can ever again be completely blind to what I am doing. God wants us to be happy. He created us to be happy. Yet we surround ourselves with so many things to take care of to convince ourselves that our lives seem real. All these things distract us from the reality of what we are 
yet we revel in them. We prize them. These things are projections of my fear that I won't have enough or that I won't be comfortable. They are projections of my fear that my true self is not real, that God may be there for others, but not for me. I see my fear in all that is around me. Do I want to live in a world of fear? This is not how I was created to exist. If I let go of my ego vision and allow Holy Spirit to show me what is real, I can be happy. I can live as I was created to exist because I see fear is not real. Only love is real. In love, I am happy for I am truly me. Pathways of Light dot org so yeah it's almost sad like the cookie i see is a form of vengeance like have you no mercy even the cookies <laughs> even the cookies i see are a form of vengeance well you gotta agree they are perishable they aren't gonna last forever especially if you bake them right and the cookies i made this week i think they're all gone they were gin no they were molasses cream cookies. Ooh, wholesome little buggers. Except for that last batch, that last tray, I didn't bake them long enough and they all sunk and got all wrinkly. So the dogs ate those ones. But yeah, these cookies will not last. As a matter of fact, these cookies are not even real. And these cookies I see is a form of vengeance. Is this really the world I wanna see? Do I really want vengeful cookies? No. No. So anyways, do your lessons. Um, it is from this savage fantasy I'm reading. This savage fantasy that you want to escape. It is this savage fantasy. Is it not joyous news to hear that it is not real? It is not a happy discovery. Is it not a happy discovery to think to yourself, wow, this place is a bunch of bullshit and I can get, I can get out of it. As a matter of fact, the Holy Spirit will help walk me out of it but yeah we kind of need to do that together so anyways um just be aware you made what you would destroy everything that you hate and would attack and kill and all that you fear does not exist see how the course of miracles can really mess with your head but i love it and i'm glad that you're here too loving it with me eating vengeful cookies and you know just uh yeah doing what we need to do I apparently i don't know how to end this video so okay all right okay i'm gonna just gonna hit the button <laughs>